Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday, it's Friday, so it's weigh-in day, workshop topic recap. I'll let you guys know how my week was and we'll set some goals moving into the last week of July. I seriously cannot believe how fast this month has went. Even though it's been completely chaotic and hectic for me, it has literally flown by. Do you feel that way? Let me know down in the comments if you feel like July just flew by. So if you're excited for another Friday weigh-in video, give this one a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do upload five days a week and Friday is always weigh-in day, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite healthy things and my Facebook group, definitely join us over there. It's such a fun community are also down in that description box. So let's jump into Friday weigh-in. Welcome back friends, happy, happy Friday. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic week. I had a good week, I have to say so. Most of my week was really positive and really good. It was really busy as always, but less busy luckily than the last couple of weeks have been. Diesel is now officially about three weeks into his recovery. He just had a, a doctor slash vet appointment this last week. I did give an update in Wednesdays what I eat in a day. So if you want a diesel update and you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure to link it down below for you. But things are going well with his recovery. Lola's fantastic and sweet and wonderful as always. And Palmer, he's a puppy, so he's still a lot of work, but boy, is he just a ton of fun. Things in real estate have slowed down a bit for me. I'm finishing up with some clients and just starting the process with a couple of others. So that's actually been really nice to take that off of my plate. Also, I still haven't been tracking, but I'll give you guys an update on that here in just a couple of minutes. But overall, I would say that my week went really well. The only bad thing or negative thing for my week this last week is I started my favorite, AKA least favorite time of the month on Tuesday. So I've been feeling just really fatigued, tired, and bloated, of course. I was able to get in two days of jazzercise, so I'm grateful for that. It's been rough for me going on f Saturdays. I've been skipping my Saturday session, so I'm reformulating moving into this next week with jazzercise as well. So I'll share that with my goal update for this next week, but overall, I had a pretty good week. So before I share my weigh-in and my goals moving into the final week of July, let's talk a little bit about this week's workshop topic. I like this topic. This is one that I feel like hasn't already been discussed, at least for me during my stint into Weight Watchers meetings. This is to feel more joy in every step and take what's called an awe walk. So if you're feeling uninspired or the lack of motivation to do really any type of intentional exercise, maybe it's time to get outside and take what's called an awe walk. What's an awe walk? How do I take an awe, awe walk? How do I start planning to take an awe walk? Well, step number one is to scope it out. Scope out a brand new spot to take a walk. Maybe a place that you've never been or on the flip side, maybe a place you've taken a walk in the past, but you really haven't fully enjoyed your surroundings and the experience. Number two is to unplug. Do not take your phone. Do not take your computer, but completely unplug from the social media or the digital world. Be able to enjoy your surroundings and fully take them in if you're not glued to your phone. Now, I know sometimes when we're outside in nature, for safety reasons, we like to have our phone on us. If that is the case for you, turn your phone off while you're taking your walk. That way you can enjoy your surroundings and not be tempted to pull out your phone and check your social media or your emails or your texts. Number three is to move 
mindfully. Really pay attention to how you're feeling, how you're breathing, how your body feels, and all of the sights and sounds of your surroundings. Sometimes we just go on a walk to get an exercise and we don't really take in everything around us, which makes walking outside such a wonderful experience. And that leads me into number four, and that is to notice. Notice what's going on around you. What's energizing or intriguing you about your surroundings? Which details do you like the most? Is it the vast landscape, the pretty flowers, on the side of the road, or maybe you're walking in town and it's a building's architect, or maybe the scent and sounds in the air. Just really notice and focus on what's happening around you. A daily walk is such a great way to keep your body moving, but it can become a little boring and redundant if we're walking on the same path or the same sidewalk or in the same area. So that's why introducing new landscapes and surroundings is so important to keep your daily walks fresh and exciting. That awe-filled experience will motivate you to move more more, take more walks and experience new and exciting places. Did you know that being active outside can not only boost your overall well-being, it can also boost your body image, your energy levels, and your self-esteem, which may be all the needed things from spending so much time indoors. And it said, that walking is actually the best form of exercise for weight loss. So get outside, enjoy your surroundings, the smells, the scents, and really get your body moving in a new, exciting environment. So I really like this topic. I find for me that I just walk the same route, the same path. Now, granted, I don't have a lot of options where I live, but what's wrong with getting in my car and driving down to a new location, maybe walking along my local river or downtown and enjoying the hustle and the bustle. So I like this topic a lot. It definitely is food for thought for me when it comes to what I'm doing when I'm taking a walk outdoors. So now let's jump in to my weigh-in. Like I said, I had a good week overall with the exception of my least favorite time of the month, but I'm happy to report when I stepped on the scale, I am down 0.4. No, it's not a lot, but it's a loss. And if you know me or follow my channel, you know that the scale is not the be all end all for me and that any loss, especially during my time of the month is a huge, huge win for me. So I will take it. And that means that so far in the month of July, I've lost every single week. Now, next Friday is my final weigh-in for the month of July, so I'd love to continue my little winning streak, but again, the scale isn't everything to me. I'm feeling really, really, really good. I'm feeling more confident in my body. I'm lighter on my feet during my jazzercise workout, and really, most importantly, my clothes are fitting a lot better. I'm full, I'm satisfied, and right now I'm eating the most calories I have eaten so far on my weight loss journey. And as you can see, it's working. I'm still seeing the scale move in the right direction every single week. So I honestly couldn't be happier with how things are going for me. I'm planning a trip to San Diego in the month of September, kind of towards the end of the month. And then I have a approach or a goal for the remaining three months of the year that I'll be sharing with you guys in a future video. But right now I'm going to be doing more of the same. That's my plan, my goal for this next week. I'm going to be eating well and I'm going back to tracking. So starting today, I am now officially back to tracking my food. I feel like I'm in a place in my life that it's less chaotic and that I can focus more on actually tracking. Now, the fact that I've lost this entire time without tracking, amazing, but I need to get back to tracking my food and really being mindful of what I'm eating and hitting my protein goal for myself every single day. And with that, I'm going back to jazzercise three days a week. I've been doing my meal prep on Saturday when Troy's home so that he can watch the dogs. But again, I feel like I'm in a place where Diesel is pretty self-sufficient other than needing to go outside and me taking him out on a leash. And Palmer is extremely self-sufficient. So I'm going to go back to meal prepping on Sunday so I can go back to my Saturday morning jazzercise class. I found myself skipping Saturday because I was thinking I need a meal prep and get this done. And by the time I'm done meal prepping and cleaning up, it's halfway through the day already. So I'm going to put meal prep on to Sunday, even though Troy's at work and I'll have the dogs to myself, I think I'm going to be able to manage just fine so that I can open back up Saturday to my workout. And that's really what's most important to me. So my goal is to do jazzercise Thursday, 
Friday and Saturday, which are Troy's three days off during the week. So those are my exciting goals moving into the final week of July and as we move into August. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week and what are your goals finishing out the month of July? And also, what do you think of this whole taking an awe walk and really enjoying the sights and sounds of your surroundings? So if you enjoyed this weigh-in, give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and just lets me know to keep putting out these Friday weigh-ins. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Make sure you're checking out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget to join us over on Facebook. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend, friends. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.